what's up y'all um ft mike here i know it's been a while since i posted a video but uh as you can tell from the title of the video that is why we got a new unit um i'm over here it's right here in the driveway i haven't even i don't even have seven hours on the bike yet i'm breaking it in it's a it's a can-am 850 outlander xmr as you can tell it's got the 32 inch assassinators on it we're on stock wheels because i did not want to spend any more money on this thing than i already did uh, the stock wheels look great. Love the spokes in them. The Can-Am uh, center cap looks really good. We also got the wild floorboards on here in order to fit them. The fitment isn't the best in the front. The backs are really good, but uh, you have to get them in order to get the 32s to fit on there properly. Same thing in the back. We uh, we got the mud strap right here, mud banded. I took that off my old bike, thank God. Um, absolutely love it. Very heavy duty hook. Uh, I'll throw the, the discount coming up right now so y'all can go get y'all some little discount. Tell them that I sent you. Awesome product. Can't say enough about it. Right here, we got the exhaust. Uh, RJWC exhaust. I got it paired with the DynoJet tuner, ECU flash. Open It opened this bike up. Um, this exhaust is stupid loud. Uh, when you're riding behind it, you're not going to be riding behind it for long. It's, uh, it's dumb loud. Looks really, really good though. I'm gonna definitely get y'all some sound clips of it here in a short minute. But uh, if we come to the front, I got some stuff on the front I wanna show y'all. So right here we got our, it came with a winch. The, it came with cable, unfortunately. The cable's uh, terrible. I took it out already, I put it back in and it, it sounded awful, like it wanted to die because it's all bunched up right now. So I got the synthetic rope right over there. Um, I just gotta find time to put it on. So yeah, we're gonna be straight with that. Get rid of that small hook too. I got came with a new hook. The master bike is black. If you come up top here, we got a light bar. Uh, do I know what brand it is? No, I do not. I have many people already ask. Um, it's like a 200, 300 dollar light bar. Nothing too, too fancy, but it looks really good. Works really, really good. Very bright. And you got your uh, wet sound sound bar right here. Uh, I think it's a Stealth 6, I believe. Very loud for what it is. Looks awesome. Very sleek finish. The way they mounted it on here they didn't put it on top of them like the light bar on top of it like i've seen a few uh companies do it they got a bracket they made for it which i somebody asked me what bracket this is i have no idea i'm not really the biggest can-am person i'm still learning but as you can see that's the bracket it's got like two mounts pretty awesome honestly got the radiator relocate up here came from factory like that looks really good sleek i may do a different design up here something I know this is uh, changeable, but honestly, it doesn't look that bad. But maybe in the future, I may put FT mic or something, do something different with it, custom. It's the 850, obviously. We went with the 850. Uh, I know the, the Outlander's coming 570, 650, 850, and 1000. I didn't go with the 1000 because I didn't want the long wheelbase, the short wheelbase, 850. It's got plenty of power, especially with that tuner. It's probably pushing over 80 horsepower right now. It's got Fox shocks all the way around, as you can see right here. Fox shocks, I'm not used to that. The ride quality of this thing is absolutely beautiful compared to that Honda. If you come in the back, you can see. It's Fox shocks, but they don't have the, the logo or nothing on them. But look at that ground clearance though. That ground clearance is absolutely insane. Uh, beefy, beefy axles. Hopefully we're not gonna be breaking too many with these, but uh, that throttle is a, uh, very tempting just to romp on it every time you get on this thing. Maybe you might be getting some halos if I can find a good deal on them. Uh, I, like, I would like white ones, just white halos. It'll look really good in here. I think it would look pretty awesome. Uh, obviously it's got IRS. Um, I mean, I didn't have IRS on my old bike. Like I said already, the ground clearance is awesome. The ride quality is amazing. The bike sits, so, I mean, it's look how high it is. I'm six foot, and this is how high the bike sits on me. Just no lift or nothing. Um, it just it just looks really, really good with these tires. I got a lot of compliments on them. I'm sure y'all seen the Instagram post already. That, that's what that's gonna be up for this video. But if you come up here, it's got a lot more controls, and I mean a lot more than the Honda. So let me go on this other side and we'll start showing you. So to start this, is you turn, you hit this over, you tap this, you let it do its thing. So it stops beeping and you hold it to fire it which i'm gonna show you in a minute but i want to point everything out first so 
uh, you got your uh, your lights, your low beams, and your high beams. Uh, you got your uh, this button right here allows you to like go in reverse like without being limited how fast it like revs up. So you hold that down and give it gas in reverse. And it also is your uh, your power steering. You got low, medium, and high max uh, power steering. Right here, you got your winch, obviously. And over here, you got your, right here, you can uh, mess with your wet sounds right here too. It's got a control for it, but it also is Bluetooth. So I just use my uh, my phone. Over here, you got your, uh, your four wheel drive and then you got diff lock. Yes, we got diff lock folks. Um, honestly, insane. I'm not used to having actual diff lock. Uh, the Honda, obviously, if y'all still, y'all watch those videos. Uh, the Honda obviously did not have diff lock. I had to use uh, the front right brake, but uh, this one doesn't even have a front right brake. I know, crazy. It's got only a left brake, but it's got three brakes all around. If you come back here, you can look. It doesn't have a right left brake right here. It's kind of, I'm sure they got some reason for it, but it ain't got a brake right here, but it's got them right, it's got a disc brake all around except for right on the back left. Which is, I don't know exactly why they did that, but they did that um but back up here we got the diff lock four wheel drive then over here you got your your mode so you got eco mode you got normal mode and then you got sport mode you control it with this button right here and then let me tell you sport mode this bike is a uh, very dangerous very wild but it's honestly insane it's awesome you got electric uh, throttle this is very very sensitive um i haven't got it like all like i haven't really ever pushed it all the way yet and uh, i get like three quarters of the way and this bike just absolutely screams i mean it is stupid loud and it hauls it moves your aux switch is right here for your uh sound bar it's the way they got it mounted here which is actually very nice it looks really good so you, all you do is you hit it then you want to power on it you hold this boom ready to go just hook your phone up to it you're good to go and over here one switch boom come over here your light bar on just like that very simple, very easy right there. Uh, I haven't got to test it out at night yet. I plan on making a lot more night rides with this bike. Um, so yeah, that's all the controls on the, the handlebars. So I guess I'll show y'all what it sounds like. right there and you got your engine temp right there and you got your battery voltage right there and you got your settings which I haven't really gone in the settings yet I don't really know what's all in there and then you got your rpms as you just saw so it's got a lot of features it's got way too many whatever you want to call those uh, light ups uh, I hope I don't really ever see those because uh, all of those mean bad news don't really need that but yeah, this is what it looks like sitting on the bike. Honestly insane. Just looks so good. Rides like a dream. But yeah, we're gonna get some sound clips for you coming up and down the road real quick and then uh yeah.
folks. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I'm getting the break-in hour still. Hope y'all enjoy the unit. Uh, hope I did the right choice. Hope y'all like it. Uh, it's honestly insane that this is really happening or happened. Uh, I do miss the Honda, but this bike absolutely insane. The video quality and like the sins are gonna be a lot more exciting, you could say. But uh, yeah, this bike's just gonna be an absolute monster in the mud. I already know it. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the this little walk around of what's going on with it. I got some more plans, but I'm gonna keep that a little bit of a secret because. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, drop down in the comments below what y'all think about it. Uh, yeah. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one.